Okay, so my buddy has an entire bag full of N64 stuff. He won't part with anything but the one game that I need that he has that I don't have. But he's got three systems here. A Smoke Black Fantastic, which is fantastic. It's got a expansion pack. He's got three Atomic Purple controllers, Smoke Gray, and just a slew of good games. He's got like three copies of Gold Nine there. There's another copy in here somewhere. Castlevania, Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario 64. There's the other copy right there. Uh, this is a whole slew of, of games. I've got all these except for the one that I need. So he told me he sold it to me for sixty or sixty-five for five dollars. And that is the copy of Ready to Rumble Boxing. Little, uh, little dirty, but I can clean that up. But five bucks. There we go. Got the five spot. Say ten bucks. Doggy. Hey, it's all right. <laughs> How are you? Good. Well, D did you see the games in the picture? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. You wouldn't happen to have any more, would you? Uh, no. Anything just, older, like Super Nintendo? I have, I have Super Nintendo, but um, that's mine. You have any games you don't play anymore? I could throw them in I probably got about 25 games. Oh, look here. <laughs> it takes a good oh. 20 minutes for me to get out of here. 15, 20 minutes. Oh, Thanks.
That's my one that I find. Yeah. I thought I had more than anything. So, would you throw this game in for the same price? The only one I don't have out of, out of everything you brought out. Forty even with me. <laughs> I did. I went to the ATM and pulled out two twenties. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. All right, folks, so I haven't had much luck the past two weeks, but these are my finds minus the things that I have already sold um, for the past two weeks. Uh, went yard selling today, did not find the first thing, nothing. Uh, but that's okay. Next week, expect a lot of yard sale footage because there are three community sales in three different cities in my area, um, Friday and Saturday. So I'll be going balls to the wall, hitting up as many of the sales as I can. All right, but we'll go ahead and start off uh, with the biggest find, uh, which was the Nintendo bundle. And four games. We got Mario Duck Hunt, uh, World Track, World Class Track Meet, Top Gun, Tetris, and Double Dragon. Um, when I picked it up, I asked her if she had anything else. She pulled out some Super Nintendo games. And this was the only one that I did not have out of the games that she pulled out. Uh, sorry for the blurry footage in her house, but um, you can see is Super Empire Strikes Back. I did not have that. It was in pretty good condition. I asked her if she would throw that in and keep the price the same. She agreed to that. So for 40 bucks, picked up the Nintendo. Now, I will be um, bundling this Nintendo with these other four games. We got Mock Rider, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Double Dragon, and Tiger Healy. So I'll be adding those four games in and flipping that on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, another find was at the pawn shop. This was a fantastic pickup. A very uncommon Wii title, which is Bomber Land, Bomberman Land. And this goes for around 25 bucks. Not extremely easy to find in the wild. And Resident Evil 2. I was surprised to see Resident Evil 2 at the pawn shop already. But they had a $10 tag on Resident Evil 2. And um, 
four dollars on Bomberman Land. Uh, that day you could draw an egg from the Easter basket since it was around Easter and inside each egg was a different percentage off. I drew the egg that had 25 extra percent off. So I was able to get Resident Evil 2 for $7.50. And Bomberman Land, the total came out to like $11 and some change. So not arguing there. Fantastic pickup. Also um, from the pawn shop. I got Final Fantasy X X2, the HD remaster. And um, from Goodwill, I found Star Wars Bounty Hunter and Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man is already listed on eBay. Bounty Hunter, I'll be keeping. At the flea market, I found five items. Three I have here, two have already sold and I've already shipped them off. Nintendo uh, GameCube Pac-Man World 2. Complete. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, on the PSP complete. And a very super clean uh, Indigo GameCube controller. Um, in very, very good condition. I've already got that listed on eBay as well. Uh, so the Pac-Man and the Need for Speed are going into the collection. From a buddy of mine, he had an entire suitcase full of N64 stuff. Uh, two standard systems and a smoke gray fantastic uh, system with expansion pack and a whole bunch of really good games, whole bunch of controllers. But he wasn't going to will and deal with me and give me a fantastic yard sale price on everything. So I was like, hey man, you've got this game and I don't have this game. Um, can I get it from you on the low? So for $5, I picked up Ready to Rumble Boxing. I'm always happy to add another N64 title to the collection that I do not have. Then we've got three PS Vita games. I never, ever, ever see Vita games in the wild. I've maybe found in the wild twice now um, some PS Vita. I found a PS Vita at a yard sale last year, and then I found one, or no, excuse me, two PS Vita loose games um, at the pawn shop um, in a different city last year and then these three right here so these this is only like the third time I've ever found anything Vita related but Mod Nation Racers was in a generic uh, GameStop case last year someone had sent me a box of NB cases and this happened to be one of the cases that I had sitting in my box so took it out of the GameStop case put it in its original case fantastic um, so we got My Nation Racers Road Trip, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. They wanted $6.99 each on those. I think I paid about $20 for all three. Fantastic. Now, McDonald's has the Avengers in-game um, toys, figurines. And uh, these are, are pretty cool. There's like, I think there's over 30 of these, if I'm not mistaken, because there's so many characters involved with the Avengers. Um, but they had the first wave, which was one, two, and three. So we got Iron Man, uh, Captain America, and Hulk. And the last thing that I'm going to show you, um, these weren't fines, these were ordered. Uh, last week I got in from Limited Run, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Fantastic. And then I got a package in today. Also from Limited Run, I went ahead and cut the top off, but we're going to go ahead and slide this out for the first time. And we have got Jack 2. And I believe there should be a card in here as well. Yep, there it is. And a very nice Limited Run trading card for Jack 2 as well. I did get a confirmed order on Jack 3 yesterday from Limited Run, so now I've got all three games. Uh, well, I've got the first two in my possession. The third one will, you know, be coming in the mail later on down the road. And then they're releasing one more, which is Jack X. And I believe if you confirm uh, all four orders for these games, they send you an extra bonus uh, for, for picking up all four. So I've got the first two. I've got a confirmed order. Confirmed order on the three on the third one and just waiting for Jack X to be released so I can get that on order as well. 
All right, folks, but there you have it. There are my pickups for the last two weeks. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive all notifications. I have had a fantastic week. I hope you have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.